In this video, you will learn 11 plus maths topic. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, let's have a look at rounding significant figures. And the question we have is round 9,856 to one significant figure. The first thing we need to know with significant figures is that the first significant figure always starts with the first non-zero digit. And the first non-zero digit is the first significant figure. However, in this question and in this number, which is 9,856, we have no zeros, luckily. But the first non-zero digit is, however, 9. And therefore, 9 will be our first significant figure. So once you've done this, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a line next to the significant figure you're rounding to. In this case, we're rounding to the first one. So once you've drawn a line after that specific significant figure, next thing you're going to do, you're going to have a look at the digit after the line, which is eight. So the eight is the digit after the line. So if the digit after the line is five or above, the digit is above five, obviously eight is above five. And because it's above five, you're going to add one to the digit before the line, which is 9. You're going to add 1 to 9, which means you will get 10. And for the remaining of the digits, so the digits after the line, you're just going to replace them with zeros. So that means 9,856 rounded to the first significant figure is 10,000. Now, let's have a look at rounding significant figures for this example. And the question is, round 5,789,324 to the first significant figure. Obviously, the first significant figure is the first non-zero digits. And the first non-zero digit is five, which means five is the first significant figure. So because five is the first significant figure, and you're going to round up to five, let's draw a line after five. So now, let's have a look at the number after the line, which is seven. So if the digit after the line is five or above, which means you add one to the number before the line, which is 5. We're going to add 1 to 5, which means you get 6, and then replace the remaining digits with 0. So 0, 0, and 3 more zeros, which you get as a rounded figure. So let's have a look at another rounding significant figure example. And in this case, we have round 6.732 to the first significant figure. And 6.732 is a decimal. Despite having a decimal, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. So we're to the first significant figure. First significant figure is the first non-zero digit, which is 6. So we're rounding to 6. So draw a line after the 6, and then look at the number after the line, which is 7. So if the digit after the line is 5 or above, which means you add 1 to the number, so 6 plus 1 will give you 7. So you can write zeros after for the remaining digits, but because this is decimal, you don't really have to add the zeros at the end. So you can just leave it as 7, which means the rounded figure or our answer to this question is 7. Now, let's have a look at this example, which is round 0.00567 to the second significant figure. In this case, we're rounding to the second significant figure. So you're going to do the same thing as you did before. Remember, the first significant figure always starts with the first non-zero digit. And the first non-zero digit in this is obviously Five. So five is the first non-zero digit, and the first significant figure always starts with the first non-zero digit. So it's going to be five. But we're going to round it to the second significant figure, which is six. So you're going to round it to six. So draw a line after the six. So if the digit after the line is five or above, so you have to add one to six or 56. So six plus one is going to be seven. And then write the numbers before the six. So the 5, the zero, 0, and then the point 0. And then for the 7 at the end, you can turn it into a 0 if you want. But because this is a decimal, the 0 at the end does not make any difference. So you don't have to write the 0 on the end. Instead, you can leave it as 0.0057. In this example, we have round 2171 to the second significant figure. So the first significant figure is 2 because it's the first non-zero digit. The second is going to be 1. So draw a line after the 1, 
to right here. The number after the line is 7. 7 is obviously higher than 5. So add 1 to the 1, which means you would get 2. And then write the numbers before it. For the numbers after it, turn it into zeros. So two zeros at the end, which means you will get 2,200 as your answer. Now, let's have a look at another example, which is round 2,439 to the third significant figure. So we move to the third significant figure. So once again, the first significant figure starts with the first non-zero digit, which is two. So that means the third must be three. Draw a line after three, so right here. The number after the line is nine, and nine is above five, which means you're going to add one to the three. So adding one to the three will give you four. Write the numbers as they are before it, and then for the number after it, just add a zero, which means you will get 2440 as your answer. So let's have a look at another example. And in this example, we have round 36,469,021 to the five significant figure, to the fifth significant figure. In this case, the fifth significant figure is obviously going to be nine. The first one is three, and the fifth one is going to be nine. So draw a line after nine. The number after the line is zero. So if the digit after the line is five or above, because it's below five, you leave the number after the line as it is. So you're going to leave this whole bit as it is. So 36, 4, 6, 9. You're going to leave it as it is, but for the numbers after the line, you're going to replace them with zeros, which means you will get an answer of 36,469,000. Now to learn more on Level Plus Maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.